Hello and welcome to VTC's course on Ubuntu Linux. My name is Chess Griffin. In this tutorial, we will take a look at the GNOME system terminal. The terminal being the tool that allows one to dig down into the command line and into the terminal, which is what runs underneath the graphical environment that you see when using a Linux system. Now, most Linux systems, if not all Linux systems, come with some type of terminal application, and Ubuntu is no different. Ubuntu's terminal is located under accessories. Now, a terminal, sometimes people call it sort of like a DOS prompt, like in the old DOS days, an old, old Windows machines or pre-Windows machines. But as you can see, it's a blinking cursor, and it's a way to get at the Linux system underneath the fancy graphical environment that you see in front of you on the, on, a, on an everyday basis. Now, many people use Linux every day and for years and years and never feel the need to go down into the terminal, as it's, as it said, or using the command line interface, the CLI. But there are times when it is very handy, and uh, sometimes, especially with Ubuntu, uh, when, when looking at documentation or help or browsing the forums, one will see commands that, that other users or that the documentation recommends one enters, and that has to be done in the terminal. So it, it isn't hard, I mean, it, it isn't easy to escape the terminal completely, although I'm sure that there's many people that use Linux and use Ubuntu without ever having to go into the terminal. But it is helpful to have just a sort of a basic understanding of how the terminal works. So the terminal is a, as I said, is a prompt. And as you can see in the prompt, there's a few pieces of, in, of information actually to the left of the cursor. First is your username. And in this case, it's Joe. Joe at, and then the name of the computer. This computer happens to be called Joe-Desktop. That's just the name that was given to this computer when it was installed. So this tells us that, that we are currently logged in as Joe on the computer called Joe-Desktop. Then after the colon is a indication of where we are in the Linux file system. And right now it's simply one character, the tilde character. The tilde character is a is a shifted character to the left of the number one key on a U.S. standard keyboard. It looks like a little squiggly line. That stands for home. That stands for Joe's home. That is the same location as going to places and home folder. It's the same thing. Uh, it's just that in, in, in the command line, in the terminal, the home is indicated by the tilde. So as you can see here, uh, this is our home folder when using the graphical Nautilus file manager, and this is our home folder when using the terminal. And I'll show you how we can get a listing of the, of the things in the home folder in just a moment. But continuing on with the prompt, the last character that one sees is a dollar sign. The dollar sign is, th is the traditional symbol for a regular user, that me meaning a non-root or non-administrator user. Uh, so in very, in one quick glance, we can see who, who we're logged in as, on what computer, where we are, and whether or not we have root privileges, as it's, as it's said, or whether or not we are a root user or a regular user. So this is the terminal. Uh, the terminal application itself, the actual graphical terminal application, does have, as you can see, a, a menu bar. We can have a new tab. So we can have two terminals open uh, where we can do two things at once. So we can tab, go back and forth, and we can click on the different tabs, and we can we can close tabs. So we can also make some some changes to our profile. The GNOME terminal application allows us to maintain profiles where we can change the settings. For example, we can change the name, we can change the font, whether or not the cursor blinks, what types of characters are shown. We can also change the colors. Right now it's using, it's basing its colors on the system theme, but say for example we didn't want to do that and we wanted to use uh, white characters on a black background, which is sort of a traditional look. We can do that, we can close out of that, and uh, that will be now our new, our new terminal our new uh, profile in that terminal. There's also a menu uh, for the tabs themselves as well as the help and help contents. So that is the terminal application. And because it is so handy and can be very handy and frequently used, it is often recommended that folks put a shortcut to the terminal here in their menu bar rather than having to go from applications to accessories to terminal. But that's, of course, up to each individual user. So that is a very brief summary of the terminal application itself, and that's the end of this tutorial.
Thank you very much.